If you are installing your ultra-fresh front load washer or profile ultra-fast combo washer and dryer, or you are experiencing excessive vibration, your unit will need to be properly leveled. This video will outline the process to level your unit. Before you begin, make sure your unit is in its final location. You will need a wrench and a level to adjust the legs. The washer or combo must be installed on a hard, flat surface. To ensure that all four legs are touching the ground evenly, place your hands on opposite corners and attempt to rock the machine. If your unit rocks back and forth, follow these few steps to level your unit. Place the level on the top panel, both front to back and side to side. Check for level. If the unit is not level or if all four legs are not firmly on the floor, the leveling legs will need to be adjusted. Use a wrench to adjust the front legs. While looking down on the legs from above, Turn the wrench clockwise to increase the height of the leg, thereby raising that corner. Turn the wrench counterclockwise to thread the leg deeper into the bottom of the unit, lowering that corner. After the unit has been adjusted, verify the locking nuts at the base of each leg are tight against the base of the unit. This locks the leveling legs in place. In some cases, the rear legs may need to be adjusted as well to properly level the unit. These same steps also apply to leveling the legs on a pedestal or riser. Once the legs on the pedestal or riser have been adjusted to level the unit, ensure that all four legs of the washer and dryer are lowered to be firmly seated against the top of the pedestal or riser and the lock nuts are locked in place. Consult the pedestal and riser installation videos for further assistance. Keep the leg extension to a minimum to prevent excessive vibration. The farther out the legs are extended, the risk of vibration increases. Please consult your owner's guide for more information on leveling your unit. 